Hello, everyone. Thank you all for coming out. Welcome. My name is Hector, and welcome to Das for Horsemen YouTube channel. And you heard that right. It's four people, but it's just me for this video. This is our first unofficial official YouTube video. It's basically an introduction to our YouTube channel and what to expect. Now, I know what you're thinking. Um, you said four. And there's only one of you. Well, congratulations. I applaud your skills of deduction. You, sir, are very smart. You should get a cookie. Unless you're on a diet. Then you should get celery sticks. Because those are good. Pat yourself on the back, though. But yes, that's right. It's not four people in this video. It's only one. Which is me. The reason being is because my other friends, uh, the people who you're going to here and maybe see in the YouTube videos they have something called the life <laughs> and I'm not trying to downplay my life I'm just saying that they have girlfriends well well each of them have one they all have one girlfriend well at least to my knowledge they, they could be players uh, they have a job they have a car they have a social life I don't have a social life anyways that's besides the point so I'm going to introduce us, try my best to introduce us, and try my best to to impersonate them. So, without further ado, oh, oh, my bad, <laughs> I'm not even watching the video. Uh, this, this is Destiny gameplay. Usually I'm really bad at Destiny, like really bad. But once every 50 games, I'm pretty average, actually, borderline mediocre. Man, I suck at this game. And life, apparently. <laughs> so, let me introduce ourselves. Okay. So, I'm going to introduce ourselves by rank. Even though we're all, like, leaders in a way, but not really. So, the first person would be Aaron. He represents the Horseman of Death. He's Puerto Rican and doesn't speak Spanish. Right, impersonations. Okay. <clears throat> Bravo team. Please welcome Aaron. Hey, okay. Thank you, Aaron. Oh, and Aaron is the horseman of death because he's like the leader, not because he's the darkest one out of all of us, because that would be racist. And here in this YouTube channel, we don't tolerate racism at all. Ding! We can't afford sound effects, so I have to make them all. Uh, next person is me. My name's Hector, and I represent the horseman of war. Now, why do I represent him? Well, that's that's simple. It's because my last name's Rojo. That's Spanish. And what it means is that it bathes in the blood of my own enemies after I've bested them at war. It also means red. The next person is Chris, and he is a horseman of both conquest and famine. Well, when I did my research, I noticed that it fluctuated between conquest and famine. And I, being the person I am, let Chris make his own decision, and Chris, being the selfless person he is, he chose Conquest to make our other horsemen feel better about himself, because clearly nobody wants to be the horseman of Conquest over the horseman of Famine. A round of applause to Chris for being such a saint! Now why is Chris Conquest? Well, aside from the fact that he is so selfless and such a saint, it's because he's tall, and he feels that tall people conquer things and are the superior species. Now, I don't believe that, and I have some examples to prove that. Example, the Napoleon Bonaparte. He conquered things, and he wasn't that tall. Who else? Why, Adolf Hitler, of course. Aside from the fact that he had his own personal vendetta against a certain group of people for unknown reasons, he conquered things, he helped Germany, so there's still hope for you, and hey, to anybody watching my YouTube video right now that is not six feet tall and wish they were taller, hey, look at the screen, hey, I'm here for you, chin up man, because you too can be the next Hitler, and that is such a reassuring thought. Alright, next person is Tyrone. He is the horseman of pestilence that's basically sickness he is also puerto rican but but he can speak spanish completely different from Aaron, in almost every aspect he's sort of like me the only difference is he has a job 
He is going to school and he knows how to drive and has a car. So in the game of life, he is what you would call winning and succeeding and moving forward. While I, on the other hand, am what you would call a lost cause. We're also single and not assholes, so if any ladies out there are single, ready to mingle, and looking for a couple of uh, studs who aren't assholes, well, look no further, because Tyrone and I are single, ready to mingle, and... Oh my god, yes. Yes, I be Nope, nope, it's a fact. We are not assholes at all. So I can only speak for myself on this part, but... uh. Hotel de Rojo is uh, open for check-in, if you feel me, you know, you know? <laughs> Seriously though, I'm really single and really lonely and really desperate. The amount of romantic comedies I've been watching is very... It's just appalling how much ice cream I can eat a day now and just... My hand hurts now and I... Nothing comes out anymore and... I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. I'm not supposed to get emotional. Snap out of it. Okay, I'm good. Emotionally speaking, I'm not good. I am... <laughs> it's, it's a mess out there. But I'm okay for now. What should we expect from this YouTube video, you may be asking? Well, I'm gonna answer that. So please be patient. <laughs> okay? Anyways, you should expect gameplay. It might be good. It might be bad. I don't know. We'll just upload whatever we can. Expect Destiny gameplay. Expect Star Wars Battlefront gameplay. I mean, I know we're gonna get it when it comes out. Uh, we're thinking about doing skits, but that's really far along the line. The reason we did this is because, well, I mean, I, I've been planning to make a YouTube channel for, for a long time and upload gameplay and all that stuff. And that's mostly because I want to have that special interactions with fans. For example, I love watching Mr. Stark's YouTube videos because on top of being funny, they honestly make me forget about my shitty life. So if I can do that, if I can make someone forget that their life is shit, that'll be great. Just one person, that's all I need. One person who really, really wants to watch our videos and they're like, you know what? I was having a bad day. Girlfriend dumped me. I got shot. Fucking house burnt down. But, but, I saw Das for Horseman's YouTube video, and you know what? It's gonna be alright. Oh, and I forgot to say this in the beginning of the video, but the people involved in the gameplay were Aaron, his girlfriend, and I, and we played against a team of randoms. Anyways, you're not gonna hear me talk much about the gameplay, because on top of not being able to to make it as an MLG commentator, or a professional one at that. Uh, honestly, I just want to talk to you guys, to anybody watching this YouTube video, to any future fans that are watching our first video. That's it, I just want to talk to you guys. And I would like to believe uh, that at least one of you guys, at least one of you guys will become a fan and will like us. And honestly, I feel like that's all we need, just one person. Anyways, this is the end of the YouTube video. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this. This is the part where you can leave because I'm about to do whatever YouTuber does and I know how annoying that can get. So before any of you guys start to bitch about it, just let it be known that I did warn you so get the fuck out of our YouTube video. <clears throat> okay. Three, two, one, action. Thank you all again for watching this video. If you liked it, please like. If you want to subscribe, please hit subscribe so you can see more videos. You should favorite this video as well, just a favorite. And if you want to leave a comment about a future topic to, that we can discuss, do that. Maybe we'll talk about porn or politics or pollution. Bye.